Hello everyone. Uh, most of you are familiar with poems of Rumi, the prophet of unconditional love and the Persian poet from 13th century. It's also interesting to know that um, his poems are uh, influenced by teachings of his spiritual teacher called Shams, Shams Tabrizi. Here I'm going to share with you some of the wisdom shared by Shams Tabrizi and um, his guidance about life. Guidance number one. How we see God is a direct reflection of how we see ourselves. If God brings to mind mostly fear and blame, it means there is too much fear and blame world inside us. If we see God as full of love and compassion, so are we. Guidance number two. The path to the truth is a labor of the heart, not of the head. Make your heart your primary guide, not your mind. Meet, challenge, and ultimately prevail over yourself and soul with your heart. Knowing your ego will lead you to the knowledge of God. Guidance number three. You can study God through everything and everyone in the universe because God is not confined in a mosque, temple or church. But if you are still in need of knowing where exactly his abode is, there is only one place to look for him, in the heart of a true lover. Guidance number four. Intellect and love are made of different materials. Intellect ties people in knots and risks nothing. But love dissolves all tangles and risks everything. Intellect is always cautious and advises. Be aware too much ecstasy. Whereas love says, oh, never mind. Intellect does not easily break down, whereas love can effortlessly reduce itself to rubble. But treasures are hidden among ruins. A broken heart hides treasure. Guidance number five. Most of the problems of the world stem from linguistic mistakes and simple misunderstanding. Don't ever take your words as a face value. When you stop into the zone of love, language as we know it becomes absolute. That which cannot be put into words can only be grasped through silence. Hope you enjoyed this session. There are 40 guidances from Shams and later I will send you more. Have a blissful day.